To do the new structure of OF2 oxygen difluoride, we count the electrons, the valence electrons. We have six for oxygen, seven for each of the fluorines. Gives us 20 electrons total, or 10 electron pairs. We're going to put oxygen as a central atom. Fluorines attached onto the oxygen. Put in the bonding pairs. That leaves us eight more pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That uses all the electrons, and we see that we have eight electrons on each of the atoms, so this is the good Lewis dot structure. We could have drawn it with pairs instead of lines for the bonding electrons. This is totally acceptable. But this is a cleaner structure, easier on the eyes. If you want to continue it, to figure out the geometry, we look at the oxygen, the central atom, we see four pairs. There's uh, two bonds, two non-bonding pairs. So it has a tetrahedral electron geometry. But with two attached atoms and two lone pairs, that makes it a bent molecular geometry.